Inside the Cube here. I'm John Furrier with SiliconANGLE.com with my co-host Dave Vellante from Wikibon.org. And uh, Paul Vlavos here has joined us inside the Cube, uh, um, inventor of the site deck we just saw a little demo of and we'll talk about it uh, from uh, LA, Hollywood. You've been around, you've been an extra in, in uh, movies. We had a great <laughs> conversation last night talking about your different inventions. You've won an Oscar. Oh, my misspent youth. <laughs> <laughs> Did you've won an Oscar? Yes. Okay, you've, yes. Uh, you're, you're in, the, in the heritage of inventing the blue screen. You're yeah, it's certainly part of that chain. Part yeah. of that chain. Bring Great. It through what it is today. So you know a little bit about visual technologies. Before we get to the site tech, I want you to tell the folks out there some of the key trends around visualization. Obviously, the virtual world that we live in, chat, et cetera, maybe some Skype, um, pretty one-dimensional. There are things out there like Second Life and other varieties, but the visual web really hasn't really stepped up yet to achieve its potential. So what's your vision on the that? Well, you know, let's, let's think about it. We've had uh, nearly 100 years of development of, of, of a visual medium that we call low motion pictures. And, uh, you know, there has been a technology that's grown up and it's become continually more sophisticated in the kinds of, you know, concretizing of, of, of people's visions. Uh, and with the digital revolution, it even, it even went on steroids. And so we, we find that we've got people that are, that are able to actually render creatures that don't even exist you know, uh, and do it rather quickly. And so we've all become very, very used to turning on a, a monitor and being bombarded by the most amazing visuals that just draw you in and you just, you just I mean, you, you, know, you will pay to see it. Well, you're unveiling the Site Deck product, which had a great way to uh, demo it last night with you. Site Deck is your innovation, your invention, your company is, is launching it here at Intel, Intel's booth. Um, Talk about the product and then let's go into a demo. And you know, I just want to say from my standpoint, I think this is such a game changer in the sense that it allows anyone who can afford it, it's not too expensive, to have their own studio-like environment, to be like a CNN a corporation or someone else, uh, could be a SiliconANGLE.TV, it could be anybody. But you're bringing this down to a price point and product uh, ease of use, usability, where it's viable. You know, the, uh, what we see, of course, is that uh, uh, with the explosion of what you know, what you're calling the you know social media and so forth, that uh, and and bringing down the cost of cameras, uh, storage, uh, distribution, if you will, uh, one of the problem, one of the things that's missing, all right, is trying to duplicate what we see from the professional world. It's that it's that visual content that that has a real drama and impact. I mean, you know, we, we're watching Talking Heads primarily, and when we see a, a PowerPoint, even though they might have gone to a lot of trouble to create some really nice graphics, the human element is just a box in the corner or just a voiceover. Uh, you know, otherwise, you're just looking at handheld cameras. You know, so when you, when you think about it, we say, well, how, how are we going to go about getting the average person to mount what appears to be something actually professional? And the purpose of the site deck is to do more than just combine it, but it was created in a way where I can plant this thing uh, in a, people's natural environments, so we can capture that thing about uh, the, you the know, magic the, yeah, of the, natural the, the, of the natural. magic of the everyday human being. Because we all occupy somewhere in our lives where you know we achieve some success, whether it be an instructor, a sales guy, a training guy, a, a CEO, you know, in, in our natural. <laughs> proprietary technology in yeah. inside the hardware and a screen, right? Well, it, it, it's, it's a hardware solution. Consists of a specialized screen, a six by 11. We'll get up and look at yeah, it in a The second. one behind us, folks, is, is the screen. The, uh, it's been called in the industry a epiphany wall. <laughs> <laughs> by insiders, oh, that's us. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> thank you for that. Uh, it, uh, it, it's a specialized camera that we manufacture and then uh, the uh, processor uh, it's in the server, uh, a co compositing station, if you will, is also a part of the process. So, it, it, like I say, it is a hardware solution. Uh, but uh, what it what it allows for by planting these things in people's natural environments, natural <laughs> conditions, uh, where they have the normal audience they're used to dealing with, uh, it it is it provides you a, an opportunity to make a presentation to the people in the room, uh, unlike a blue screen, which is just impossible. Uh, and uh, and at the same time you're actually producing the same kind of quality you'd get with a blue screen with a... Yeah, with a so I the secret sauce is the, is the camera and the screen itself and, enabled And the compositing station of the server, yes. Okay, enabled by, you know, l lower cost processing and very high speed processing and... and That's and right. What's, what about the software content? That's up to you. 
You know, so I layer my software on top well, of it. You know, what we're, what we're talking about here is a, a, a less of an emphasis on post-production, which is very costly and requires a, a great deal of skill and talent, uh, and moving it into a pre-production phase. So, you know, the content that I want to, to utilize, <laughs> I'll generate it up front. And when I get up to perform, you know, I'm actually manipulating the data that I need and notating and so forth. And there's a lot of other tricks that you can, that we've built into it, handles that allow you to do other visual so effects. So bring your own app, I could, whether it's PowerPoint or some kind of video application, whatever I want in real time. Uh, and it's up and going. You know, look, w we've seen a lot of attempts at sort of things like this with uh, Apple's got a difference keyer built in, and uh, right. we've seen others take uh, Connect and do, uh, you know, depth type keying and the rest of it. But everybody's working blind when they do that, and the quality is low. Uh, and, and, it, uh, and it really doesn't work in the atmosphere where I've got my normal audience. You know, because that's a big part of it. Whether, you know, wh whatever you're doing, you're typically making a presentation to some group of people. So let's take a look at this. Let's go to demo. So you're watching uh, the site deck or the epiphany walls, we were calling it <laughs> last night, where experience is happening in action. So in the screen, it's not just a, a projection like a smart board. It's a new product that allows you to interact directly with other productive, produced elements. So here's right, a so quick we're, demo. You know, we're standing here, I'm standing in front of this wall. Now, I've actually got another one over here. Can I stand up with it? Oh, there. Yeah, why don't you? Yeah. And, o o and over on this screen, on this one. there's a, there's a, a I have, you know, two of these side decks. And now, here. Dave goes over there. There yeah. he is. So now Dave has now joined us on the screen, standing in front of his side deck. So Dave's on a different screen. Now, we're on one screen to the, to the viewers. Right. And he's, he's on another, this could be in another room, in another city, in another country in the, uh, someplace. And what this does is allows us to interact, because I'm actually seeing him on my screen, and he's seeing us. Right. So, I mean, we, I could literally reach out and we could do a virtual <laughs> handshake. <laughs> so, it, it, you know, it's That's because fantastic. we can actually see each other and our eye lines work. So it takes telepresence concept of video and integrates it into a software environment a la motion picture ready. Well, you know what happens when you do a telepresence. You've got one of those situations where it's meant to be meeting room technology and we get to sit and have a face-to-face -face conversation with the people in another location. Yeah. The problem is, is that, okay. and that's great. Well, no, this yeah. doesn't replace that, yeah. but at one point we get around to the part where let's do the presentation now. Let's look at the, this, what did you bring? And so it's all, always graphics of some sorts. And that's when it all kind of falls apart. So you've been deploying this in schools, and what, what's your vision for the, uh, the use cases? I see a lot of use cases. You know, I mean, it's like, I can touch this screen. Uh, uh, you know, I can do things like, you know, I can, I can draw on the screen. Yeah. Uh, I, can, I can move data because I'm actually controlling you bring the in cursor. PowerPoints and some other technology. Yeah, because I'm actually controlling the cursor with my hands. So anything I can do sitting at the computer, I can do physically up here, dragging and dropping things. You know, it's just there's, uh, uh, I am okay. also able to put a whole series of prompt information on this screen that I can see, but it's not on the output, yeah. which, is, which is very important because the whole point of this is to give the non-professional an opportunity to look professional. So okay. huge collaboration opportunities plus the ability to just build new media products. Right. You know, it, it has so many applications. It's going to be used in so many ways. In, in, in colleges, they're already using it for lecture capture. Um, I think that this is a, an excellent training device. Uh, Healthcare. <laughs> I could see this in the uh, potentially in, you know operating yeah. room if you have the right environment, the right cameras for training purposes. You know, I it, the, you know it's funny how everybody develops products based upon trying to answer some type of special need. And the one that I saw is you can't take a guy who's really brilliant at what he does, take him out of his natural element, and try to photograph something that is dynamically, visually interesting by bringing him into a stage in front of a blue screen with strong, heavy lights, uh, uh, with, a, with a crew standing around that's a disinterested in what he's really saying, and expect yeah. him to give yeah. the kind of performance that you would see if he was actually in his natural element. And Dave, so the other thing I see too, like corporations doing press releases in the old way of disseminating information out to their uh -huh. base, have been very successful with theCUBE and working with us broadcasting, but this could be an element where every company could have their own CNN-like environment for earnings calls, for product launches, for any kind of broadcast in a kind of a production value way. Well, the no, key is you can be remote, you can be, like you said, in other rooms. Right, um, up to four rooms can be uh, uh, connected. At distance? <laughs> Doesn't matter. So bi-coastal? 
worldwide, global right. announcements, it's huge right. potential, yeah. Now, you know, think about what we've got here. This is actually a front projection that's on here. You know, one of the things I've tried to do is create a situation where I can get an effect of a studio without studio lighting. So, we're in a front projection, and yet we have no projection on our bodies. Right. right. Okay, so it makes it comfortable to be here. At the same time, though, I'm able to actually use the projector as a lighting source to augment the natural lights that are in the room. And so in this way, you can almost plant it anywhere, and, and you've, you've got a, a full-blown production studio in your hands. That well, avoids Paul, all thanks the so much for sharing that with us. We got, we're on the clock Thank here. You. Thank you yeah, for fantastic coming to share. It's a pleasure to Can meet you. Uh, great to meet you in person. Uh, Paul, inventor of the uh, uh, epiphany wall, as I call it. Uh, we were calling <laughs> it last night, or the sight deck. Um, if, you if you call these guys up at IMAT and uh, Ultimat, tell them the Cube sent you, and you get a 10% discount on your next purchase. <laughs> 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 oh, just mark it up, and 10% won't matter. <laughs>